Hey guys, so I did an automatic to manual swap on this BMW E36. Uh, in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to the computer, guys, uh, once everything is done. So I got the tranny switch, the clutch installed, clutch pedal installed, you know, the shifter installed. I got specific videos on each thing. So check out the description at the end of this video. Um, so in this one, we're gonna take the computer out. There's a chip in there you gotta remove from the automatic transmission computer. It's super easy, 20 minutes you can do this. Um, so the first thing you gotta do is disconnect your battery, obviously. This has to be done with the battery disconnected. Let's get started right away, guys. Okay, so the absolute first thing we gotta do is get to this uh, automatic transmission computer. So right over here, um, in your case, this stuff, on mine is ripped, but anyway, so you might have to move this out forwards. Then you got one, two, three Phillips head screws. Okay, I'm gonna pull those off, off camera. Okay, so I got the three screws out. See, they don't come out all the way. They kind of hang like this, but I noticed there's one more there. So check on yours in case your cover is a little bit different. Make sure you get them all. So once we got all three off, this will just kind of lean like this and come up. Uh, see, it's like in this like groove thing at the bottom. Okay, let me remove that screw and get this out. Okay, I got all three off. See, just like I said. Just like that, nothing to it. Okay, so inside of there, there's two computers. See, there's one at the bottom, and then there's another one over top of it. See, that's the one we gotta get to. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna remove this plug. So you have to pull this. Uh, we're gonna grab a screwdriver. See, like this. And we're gonna remove the bottom plug first. See, just like that. Get this out of the way. Oops. Okay, we got the plug aside and I've been using the shop vac in between takes if there was any dust, just to get all the dust out. So what we gotta do in order to get the top computer out, we gotta get the bottom computer out first. So see there's one Phillips head screw there and there's one on the other side, see it? So we're gonna remove both those Phillips head screws and that should allow the computer to slide forwards. Okay, so on each side of it, once I took the screws out, these were like, see, pushing down on there when you're putting it back together. Uh, there was one on each side, so I took them off. I put them like this. See, that's how they came out. So you don't want to mix them up, right? Like that. Um, okay, so now this thing is ready to come out. You can just reach in here. See? And so that's the bottom computer. That's not the one you're messing with. So obviously we're gonna shop back all this, clean it up before we put it back in. Okay, bottom computer is out, guys. And all the wires that go with it, I took everything out. So now, see, there's the top computer. So we're gonna do the same thing. I won't be able to record it, but we're gonna put the screwdriver in. See, that is like uh, the plug. So we're gonna remove that plug right there and then take it right out of there. Okay, it wasn't super duper easy, but I had to kind of bring it out like this and I was able to get it out. So there it is. I gave it a good wipe. Um, okay, so now all the wires are out as you can see. So we got pretty good access in there. Okay, let me get the camera in there. Okay guys, I will show you how to get this top computer out now. This is the best I can record it because it's tight in here. So bear with me, right? So there it is. Um, let's see if this is better. Okay, so what you gotta do is you have to push this whole computer back. See, there's like these clips here. So you push it back, watch. So you can pull it forwards or you can push it back. See? So you push it as far back as it'll go, both sides. And then once you got it to that point, see, watch. There, see? And then you pull it out. 
That's the best I can show it, guys. Okay, let's wipe this thing down. This is what we got to work on. Okay, guys. So here it is. We got it out. I gave it a good wipe. So you're going to flip it upside down. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six little tabs you have to bend up. If it breaks, it could break. But we're going to try to bend these up. So anyways, you get the idea. You bend them up so we can pull this cover off. Um, so nice and slow. You're gonna maybe even use some pliers, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna kind of fast forward till they're all bent up. Okay, all the tabs are bent up. So now, open this thing up. All right, so there it is. So let me show you what we need to remove out of here, guys. Okay, so inside of it, see, this is what we're taking out, guys. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. Grab yourself a little screwdriver. There, just like that. So I pried that side like this. Okay, one thing done. So this chip is what we need to pull out. See, it's like a plug. It just kind of pops out. So there it is. Um, the only thing you might want to do is put an arrow on it in case for some reason you ever need to put it back so you know which way it goes, right? But once you got this thing out, just like that, and I am gonna put an arrow on it and I will remember from this video which way it goes. There we go. Okay, and then you just put this back together, guys. Pretty straightforward and bend the tabs back. Okay, guys, and that is it. That's all you need to do to the computer. So we're gonna put all this back in. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna leave that out of the video. Make sure you tune in to the next episode where we're gonna do the safety neutral switch, guys. Super, super simple. It's only two wires and the reverse lights when you put your car in reverse. Also only two wires. So that's the only thing we got left for this conversion, guys. So make sure you guys check out the whole playlist on the automatic to manual swap every episode in a row. There'll be a link in the description and also check out the entire playlist of the whole restoration, guys. We're reupholstering the car, doing electrical and motor stuff. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage, guys. Till next time, everybody. Make sure you give me a like at least.